Hey guys, welcome back here on the channel with Fabrizio and today I wanted to touch guys on our episode of secrets and insights on two situations regarding Manchester United because maybe some of you remember the timing of two signings completed, very late signings completed by Manchester United but this happened almost three years ago, two years and a half ago and so let's jump into it. We touch today on Manchester United investment made in 2020 on two players who are now going to be part of Manchester United project. So what happened at that point and what's going on right now? The two players, guys, are, of course, Ahmad Diallo and Facundo Pellistri. What happened, guys? In summer 2020, maybe some of you remember, the transfer market was longer than ever, uh, than ever because uh, what happened is that, of course, due to COVID, they decided to extend the period of the transfer market. So the summer transfer window was uh, valid until October 5. And so this is why there were very late deals. You remember that at that point, Manchester United were linked with many players. They wanted to sign Jadon Sancho, but they were not able to do it. And then it happened in summer 2021. So the reality around Manchester United is that they decided to go for Edinson Cavani as a experienced player in attacking positions, but then to sign two talents in the final two days of this incredible crazy transfer window completed in October, beginning of October. And these two players were Amad Diallo and Facundo Pellistri. For Facundo Pellistri, Manchester United, thanks to their uh, scouts, they started to invest on him because they had the feeling other English clubs were moving around Pellistri and so they decided to invest 10 million euros on this boy born in 2001. For Amad Diallo, born in 2002, what happened is that Parma were prepared to sign the player on a loan deal and everything was almost done. From what I know, Amad Diallo was already in Parma uh, at one point to complete the contracts and to become a new Parma player on loan from Atalanta. But then in 24 hours, Manchester United decided to act and to put on the table 40 million euros package because this includes uh, 25, 30 million euros guaranteed plus 10, 15 million euros in add-ons depending on easy or complicated add-ons but the whole package was 40 million euros for Ahmad Diallo. That's what happened. Manchester United decided to act in very uh, different way because we know that many clubs uh, non don't do this kind of operations with young players but they decided to go very strong on these two players and was not easy at the beginning honestly for, for, for both, for Pellistri and for Ahmad Diallo because uh, to arrive in England, to arrive in Manchester United in a very particular situation was complicated. Let me mention that for Ahmad Diallo was crucial also what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did. Solskjaer had multiple direct calls on phone with Ahmad Diallo uh, to speak to him, to explain to him how was the project of Manchester United, what they wanted from him. So to hijack that move for Manchester United was crucial, the work of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So if now Ahmad Diallo is at Manchester United, one of the best talents around, is also thanks to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But then what's important to say is that the situation has really changed in the last few months. Uh, first of all, Eric Ten Hag is really happy with Facundo Pellistri. Eric Ten Hag is convinced that Pellistri is a very talented guy, that he has very good skills. So, of course, there is Alejandro Garnaccio in this moment, who is uh, a top, top talent. But Pellistri is doing very well too in training. And this is why when, in January, some clubs approached Manchester United, many clubs, including Bologna in Italy, Flamengo in Brazil, Spanish clubs also wanted Pellistri on loan. Elite and Hag said no, he has to stay here. We can uh, use Pellistri, we need Pellistri, and so he didn't want the player to go and maybe not play in some of these clubs, and he wanted Pellistri to stay at Carrington to work under his coaching staff. So this was the idea. And I can tell you, in terms of news, that Manchester United are in advanced talks to extend the contract of Facundo Pellistri until June 2028. So they want to give him a new long-term deal and then discuss in the summer of a potential uh, loan move for Pellistri because this could be an opportunity for him to play. But the priority is to extend the contract. So Manchester United trust Pellistri for the future and this is showing how sometimes it can need time before you see the results of what you did with some young players. But for Pellistri, those 10 million euros for sure are not going to be lost for Manchester United. So that was a smart signing and also the expectation of people close to Pellistri is for sure to see Pellistri as one of the stars of the World Cup 2026 with Uruguay. So the future looks to be bright for Facu Pellistri. Amadiallo, no words needed for his last loan, the one at Sunderland in Championship. 
He was the man of the year in championship, incredible season, scoring goals, providing assists, fantastic goals, not normal goals, but then this guy has quality, has skills, has mentality. And I can guarantee to you that the biggest dream of Amad Diallo, but really the biggest, more than anything else, is to have a chance in the first team of Manchester United. When May United signed Amad Diallo, this was a dream for the player. Uh, he was not trusting this kind of opportunity because it looked like incredible. Uh, he was a top talent at Atalanta, but to move to Manchester United was something really, really big. And Amad only wanted May United. He loves Manchester United, really, and he hopes to have an opportunity in the summer. The idea of Eric Ten Hag is to give him a chance in the pre-season, so to check and to test Amad Diallo again in the pre-season tour, and then to see what they want to do with him, uh, if he can stay in the squad for next season. But the idea is for Amad Diallo to have an opportunity. And trust me, I can guarantee to you that the player is crazy for Manchester United. He really wants to make an impact and he will give his best. This is why he was really happy at Sunderland, to have this opportunity alone, to show his skills, to be a regular starter. But now for Man United, that deal for 40 million euros package, that someone in Italy say that this is crazy to pay this money for Amad Diallo, now looks like a smart deal because his loan season at Sunderland was very, very good. And what we can say is that if you wanted to sign Amad Diallo today, maybe from Sunderland after that season, you needed probably the same amount of money or more than this. So imagine in the future, the future, the future of uh, the player, the value of the player, uh, how big that could be. So very impressive season for Amad Diallo. And for Manchester United, there will be also discussions with the representatives of Amad Diallo in the next months over new deals. So for Pellistri, this is already ongoing and advancing for Diallo will be discussed in the next weeks, months, but for sure Manchester United want to guarantee both players to have long-term contract and to be part of the project at Manchester United. We can say also that I feel they've been lucky to have Eric Ten Hag now at the club because Eric Ten Hag is doing an incredible job with young players in general. We saw what happened with Alejandro Garnacho, but also not just a young player, but a top player like Marcus Rashford was in a difficult moment one year ago. And now with uh, uh, Eric Ten Hag as a manager, he's one of the best strikers in the world. So to have that kind of manager, he's helpful to keep these players and to prepare their future. But for sure, these two late deals of summer 2020 for Manchester United are now two successful talents who can have a bright future at Manchester United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts, your feelings on Amad Diallo, Facundo Pellistri, May United. I wait for your comments here and see you soon for more of these episodes of Secrets and Insights on my YouTube channel.